Hello, it's your girl Queen Chinemi Nana. So today I'm going to be showing you how to take your full measurements. You first start by getting the waist line, and with this you have to measure two inches above your navel. So you just have to locate where your navel is. Show me your navel, please. So I'll measure two inches above it. The two is on the navel, while the iron parts would now be where the one inch stops and then I will tie my tape. You either have to get another tape or a sash or a rope, just anything to tie. Please, can you help me tie it by your side? Uh-huh. And let it be firm enough because this will be our waist guideline for all the measurements that we're going to be taking. And please take notes. I'm measuring in inches because this tape has the inches part and the centimeter part, so the tinier numbers, but I'm going to be measuring with inches. So I will first start by getting her full front. Some tellers actually call it her half length. So this is her full front from her shoulder bone to where the tape stops. So this is her full front, or to some people, her half length for me. And make sure that the tape crosses this bust area. This is it. Then next, I'll get her nape measurements. From this nape bone, this bone here, from this bone here, down to the waist line. That's why I said you have to tie this because it will be a guideline for you. Down to her waist line. Then next, I'll be getting her back shoulder measurements. From one back um, shoulder bone, to the next shoulder bone. That is her back shoulder. Then next, I'll be getting her across back. Her hands will actually be like this. If you feel here, you will feel the armpit fold. So from one armpit fold to the next one, that is across back. That's her across back measurement. And next, I'll be getting her front shoulder measurements. From one front shoulder bone, to the next one. That is the front shoulder measurement. Then next, I'll be getting her across front. From one armpit fold to the next one. That is her across front. And then next, I'll be getting her bust measurement. From, I'll take the tape round her bust. Then I'll make sure that I put a finger in between the bust measurements. I'll make sure that I put a finger in between the bust measurements. So it won't be too tight, it won't be too loose either. It will just have this firm grip, but one finger will be inside to give me her bust measurements. And then next, I will get her under bust measurements. From this shoulder bone to the under brow bone, you would feel the brow bone, this bone, this bone that is there, that's her under bust measurements. So from the shoulder bone to the under brow boning. Then next, I'll be getting her bust points. From this shoulder bone to her nipple, you tell the person to please locate her nipple for you. Please locate your nipple. The two of them, please. And then let your fingers be there. So this is her bust point measurement. From this shoulder bone to where her nipple is, that is the bust point measurement. Then I'll be getting her span measurements. From nipple to nipple, please still put your hands on your nipple. From this point to the next nipple point, that is her span measurement. So next, you will get her waist measurements. You will take the tape round her waistline, where you tied that initial rope or sash or extra tape, whichever it is that you tied. So you take the tape round it. Let it not be too tight. And let's not be too loose, just like you did with the bust measurements. Make sure that a finger is inside so that it will give it the needed allowance. That is the waist measurement. Next, you get the hip measurements. Take the tape round the largest or the biggest part of your hip and make sure the tape slides down and up. That is the needed allowance that we need. So you get your hip 
measurements. So next, you have to get your waist to knee measurements. You take the tape from where you tied this down to her knee bone. It has to touch her knee bone. Then after that, you get your waist to floor. Please remove your cell pass. You ensure that the person removes whatever footwear because she's on heels. These heels might not give me the accurate waist to floor measurement that I need. So you make sure that the person removes whatever footwear she's wearing. So you take the tape from this waistline to the floor. Let the tape drop on the floor this way. Let it drop on the floor. And after it drops on the floor, whatever measurement you get, you note it. Then next, you ask her to tiptoe. Please tiptoe. Then you also get the measurements that you have there. So in case you're trying to make a dress for the person and you need it to, you know, reach to the floor and or she'll be wearing heels. That's the way the other ways to floor measurements comes in. And then next, you get her trouser length from the waistline where you tie this to her ankle bone. From the waistline where you tie this to the ankle bone. You make sure that the tape is dropping directly on the ankle bone. That's a trouser length. Then next, you get the round thigh. The tape will have to go round the biggest part of her thigh. So you make sure that the tape goes this way, round the biggest part, round the biggest part of the thigh. Just as you did with the bust and waist measurements, make sure you have a finger inside so whatever measurement you have that is what it's going to be so next you have round knee you take the tape round the person's knee and then you ask the person to take her knee backwards so it wouldn't be so tight this way and it wouldn't be so loose either so this is what you get then next you have round ankle you take the tape round the person's ankle and make sure it slides in and out like you're trying to wear socks or pull a shoe so it has to slide in and out this way that will give us the allowance that we need so this is for round ankle and then next you have the body rise measurements for the body rise measurements it's from the waist to the crotch for those that you want to make trousers or pants for from the waistline to the crotch area another option that you have is to ask the person to sit on a hard surface so if the person sits you measure from the waist line to the hard so maybe it's to a chair wherever it stops it will still give you your body rise or your crotch or your flap measurements for pants and shorts so next you have your sleeve measurements for the sleeve measurements you get from this shoulder bone you have to get the different sleeve lengths that you need. So you get from this shoulder bone to a short sleeve. And then you note what you get there. Then you take the tape to her elbow. Then you note the elbow measurements. Then you get three quarter sleeve. Then you note the three quarter measurements. Then you get her long sleeve. You take it to this wrist bone. Take it down to this point. You also note whatever measurements you would have here. Then next, you take the tape round her arm, like the biggest part of her arm. Some people would say for Christian mother hands, and people that really have very fat arms. So whether the person is slim, whether the person is on the big side, you take the tape round this part of the arm. And then you put a finger, any measurement that goes round, all the way around make sure you always put a finger in between to get the accurate measurement so it won't be too tight and it won't be too loose either so you get her round arm then next you get the round elbow you take the tape round the biggest part not the biggest part though round the elbow but make sure that the person takes their hands inward so that the elbow wouldn't be too tight or so this is the allowance that you need so the person will take her elbow backwards and then you get the measurements then next you have your round wrists you have to take the tape round here 
if you leave it this way, some dresses wouldn't slide in and out. So what happens? She has to take her thumb inside this way. She has to take her thumb inside this way. And then you make sure that the tape slides in and out. You know, like you're trying to wear a cherry swatch. Wear it and pull it out. And here, make sure that the tape goes in, slides in and slides out this way. And you get whatever measurements that you have there. Then next and the last, <laughs> you have to take the tape round the armpit. That's your round armhole. Round the armpit this way. And one finger, like I said, the measurement that goes round, and one finger would get in. So this is the round armhole. So round her armpit, the tape goes all the way round. So this is it. So that is it for measurements taken. So with these measurements now, if you're sending these measurements to me, I can make any outfit of your choice, any style of your choice, no matter the distance, and send down to your location with this accurate measurements your pattern can be drafted and any style of your choice can actually be made without any hazards and you'll be sure of a very good fitting you'll be sure of fitted dress outfits whatever outfits so it covers for both dresses pants gowns whatever it is at all so that is it for the measurements taking thank you very much thank you <laughs>